Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here I share with you knowledge and experience about Repair Repair and especially about Electronic Control Units ECU. In my previous videos, I showed you some basic steps to help you get familiar with ECU. But I noticed many of you still have difficulties in finding the correct wiring diagrams. In car repair and especially when working with ECU, having the right wiring diagram is extremely important. For example, when we have an ECU on the bench, we need the correct diagram to connect the wires, the plugs, and the signals so we can measure, test, and repair with confidence. If you use the wrong diagram, your ECU may burn or get damaged. That is why in this video, I will show you how to search for wiring diagrams in the most accurate way. And this method, you can also use in body electrical repair. For practice, I will guide you step-by-step step on an engine control ECU from Kia and Hyundai. In the next videos, I will also continue with Kia and Hyundai ECU, ECUs because their diagrams are clear, easy to follow, and perfect for learning. About the software for wiring diagrams, if you use a mobile phone, I recommend Carmen. This app was developed by Vietnamese engineers. It works quite well, it is free, and in the paid version, there are no ads. If you use Windows, you can try some online websites like Kia GDS or GDS. At the moment, these websites are free to use. I will leave the links below this video. To search for the correct wiring diagram, you must first know which car models the ECU was used in and the production year of those cars. This step is mandatory because in the diagram software, you need to choose the right car model and the exact year of production. You can find this information on the vehicle documents or by checking the ECU code and then using Google to help. Today, I will show you how to search for diagrams using the ECU code, and I will practice on two ECUs from Kia and Hyundai. Here in my hand is an ECU with the code ME17.9.11. This ECU was used by Kia and Hyundai for models such as Hyundai i10 1.25 liter, Hyundai Accent Solaris 1.4 liter and 1.6 liter, Kia Rio 1.4 liter and 1.6 liter, first generation Kia Seed 1.4 liter, some versions of Kia Cerato or Forte with small engines. The production range is from around 2010 to 2017. And to find the correct wiring diagram, please follow these steps. First, open Google and type ECU ME17.9.11 Pinout. Then, choose the Images section. Here, we need to select the correct Pinout diagram of the ECU that we are holding. In this Pinout diagram, we can see the power pins, the ground pin GND, the CAN pins, and two data pins for coding. However, during the repair process, we need more information, so this diagram will only act as a sample to compare and to check the full diagram more accurately. Once we have the pinout diagram, open the application or the online wiring diagram website. Today, I am using the online website kieges.ru. I also leave the link below the description for you to check. Inside the website, choose wiring. If you have the VIN number of the car, you can enter it directly. In that case, the diagram will be 100% accurate. Here, I don't have the VIN, so I will search manually. This ECU is used for both Kia and Hyundai, so in the Make section, you can choose either brand. I will try Kia first. The production year of this ECU is between 2010 and 2017. So we can select any year in this range. According to Kia, this ECU model is used in cars like Kia Cerato, Kia Forte, or Kia Rio. You can choose any model to check the diagram. The same with the engine. If you are not sure about the engine type, you can also pick any option. After that, look to the left side of the screen and choose English language. Here you will see the complete electrical system of a car. It is divided into sections. Body electrical system like doors, mirrors, lights, horn. Everything is very clear, very easy to find, and easy to check. If your English is still limited, I recommend you to practice more. Because in the automotive repair field, almost all documents and tools are in English.
Now, let's go to Engine Control System. Then choose Schematic Diagrams. Here we have a total of eight pages of diagrams. On the very first page, we can see the connector shape. The connector name is CGGK, and also the pinout reference table of the ECU. This table shows all the pin details very clearly. To make sure this diagram is correct, let's go back and compare it with the pinout we found on Google. In the pinout, it says pin B plus is pin number 5 and pin number 18. In the diagram, pin 5 is engine control relay on power. That means power after the main relay. Pin 18 is on start input. That means ignition power after the key switch. Pin GND is pin number 3. Pin numbers 57 and 79 are the CAN network. On the website diagram, we can also see pin 3 is GND, pins 57 and 79 are CAN. So this confirms the diagram we found is correct. Next, with the same ECU, let's try with Hyundai brand. The way to select the brand and the year is the same. For Hyundai, this ECU model is used in cars like I I10 Accent, Accent, Solaris, Elantra, and Avante. You can select one model and then compare the pinout to see if it matches. Here I choose Accent RB with engine D1.6, TCIU2. When I open the engine wiring diagram, I see that it does not match. So let's try another model. Here it is. In this version, the diagram matches completely. You can see pin 3 is GND, pin 5 and 18 are power, and the CAN network is 57 and 79. That means we have found the correct wiring diagram. And especially when you look up the wiring diagram on this Kia GDS system, you can see the exact shape of each connector and also the position of every connect connector on the car body. This is extremely helpful for beginners who are just learning and repairing automotive wiring. Now, let me switch to the wiring diagram for a live demonstration. As you can see on the screen, at every connection point between the components, the name of each connector is clearly shown. For example, if I want to check the shape and position of the ECM connector, I just need to click on its name. Immediately, you can see the connector shape along with the wire color codes for every single pin that goes into the ECM. Very convenient for anyone working on car electrical repairs. In the component section, you can see the exact location of this connector on the car body. And in the harness section, you will find the complete wiring structure of the ECM inside the vehicle. So you see, the wiring diagram system of Kia and Hyundai is really amazing. It is simple to use, very easy to understand, and it gives great support, making the repair process much easier for you. And to help everyone become more confident in looking up wiring diagrams using the ECU part number, I will show you another ECU example so you can get familiar with it. Here in my hand, I have another ECU from Kia and Hyundai. This one has the code M7.98. The label is a bit blurry, so please understand. This ECU was used on Hyundai and Kia vehicles from around the year 2000 to 2006. First, we also enter this ECU code into Google to get a sample pinout image.
After we have the image, we proceed to check the wiring diagram on the website. This ECU was commonly used in vehicles such as Hyundai Accent, Hyundai Elantra, Hyundai Getz, Kia Rio, and Kia Cerato, also known as Spectra. If you're not sure which car model the ECU belongs to, you can simply select different models and compare until it matches the sample pinout. Here, I will try Hyundai Accent LC version. As you can see, on the very first page, pin number 2 is marked as the ignition coil signal. But in our sample pinout diagram, pin number 2 is GND, so clearly this wiring diagram is not correct. Let's try another vehicle model instead. In this version, you can see pin number 82 is the battery voltage supply, and pin number 6 is the power after the main relay. If we compare with the pinout sample, we see that pins 6, 82, and 83 are power, and pins 2 and 51 are GND. Going back to the wiring diagram, here I already found pin 82 and pin 6. On the next page, I found pin 51, which is GND. And here as well, we can see pin 83, which is IG power after the ignition switch. So actually, just by matching these, we can already confirm that we have found the correct diagram. To be absolutely sure, let me find pin number two, ground. Here it is, pin number two, ground, exactly as in the sample. That means we can confidently confirm that we are now using the correct wiring diagram to apply in real repair work. So go ahead, connect your tools, and start practicing with confidence. So today, I have shown you how to find the wiring diagram using the ECU part number. This is a very important first step for anyone who wants to start learning and getting familiar with car repair, as well as repairing ECU units in modern vehicles. With this method, you can apply it to all other ECUs and also to the electrical body systems of the car. In the next video, I will guide you through the testing process, how to check all the pinout signal terminals of the ECU, and how to simulate sensor signals, so you can identify clearly whether the ECU is working properly or not. I truly believe, when you follow this series of tutorials, you will master the techniques of repairing engine control ECUs, and you will no longer feel confused or stuck. I also recommend that you prepare an ECU for yourself, so you can practice along with me. That way, everything will be easier to understand and easier to visualize. If possible, choose an ECU from Hyundai or Kia, because their wiring diagrams are very clear and much easier for beginners to learn from. Thank you so much for watching my video until the end. I hope my tutorials can bring you useful knowledge for your repair work. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can continue learning with me in the next videos. Goodbye for now, and see you again soon.